to suck guys and girls. Security cop here, and I've already told a couple of you on this channel, well, all of you that have listened, if any, that I'm a stormtrooper. I love going out and just putting a face, a smiling face on anyone really, whether it be an old person, a mainly a little kid, or anyhow. I have an old Ruby's costume that I'm slowly modifying and trying to fix up. Here's my helmet. I had to basically dremel out what I call the rims after I popped off the eyelids because they resembled something like the lip of a soda can. I had to get rid of those, plus it actually made it look a little more movie correct. And there's then there was some off coloring once I did that so I had to touch it up with white enamel. I replaced the lenses with eBay Trooper brand acetone green lenses. You can see them there. It's a bit of a Frankenstein job in there but I thought that was good for what I need it for and it didn't impair my vision whatsoever not to mention if for some odd reason I would hit the front part here I wouldn't catch a big nail or anything like that and this heavy plaster or whatever the hell it is there we go this heavy plaster or whatever it is actually works great for those screws to nail, screw into I got some extra padding in there so the helmet doesn't wobble around like a freaking wobble uh, bobblehead or anything like that I plan on dirtying this up last we call this weathering but oh, I'm trying not to wake up my child in the other room. I've already done two pieces in an hour, and I'm actually rather pleased with them. This is the end result of re weathering. I gotta figure out how to cover that up though. The Velcro kind of bothers me a little bit. But overall, it looks very nice. Here's a thigh plate. Each one of these literally did not even take 10 minutes each. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. I hope it's going to hold up fairly well. But uh, this is what I'm using. See if I can get the color brand there. Dark brown. I got this one from Hobby Lobby 422. And I'm gonna try a dirty one up here in front of you and knock on wood, it should turn out pretty good. And just FYI, don't use these that come from your wife's collection in the kitchen. Do what I did. Go look through someone's garbage with their permission or your own garbage for that matter. Maybe you'll find one. Use that. Just make sure it's clean. All right, start off with an old rag. This is just a, uh, not even a really old rag, really. This is just regular shop towel rag. I got them in like literally a bundle of 400 for $20 at Sam's Club. Just going to dip that in there. Figure out what side I'm going to operate on here. Guess it'll be this one. Now the thing is you don't want to smear it as I have uh, observed from other channels. You kind of want a twist motion to it. I mean, I guess a small smear ain't going to hurt, but go back over it, and you want to get the dirt, or in this case, the paint, in those little nooks and crannies. Try to get it as far up in there as you possibly can because people do pay attention to that. 
And after all, we want our stuff looking good. Me personally, I always want to wipe toward a uh, edge that's sticking out, kind of like this right here and this, because you want to get the, get the paint or as you're imitating the dirt to get crammed up in there. Just like that. Do that. And as you can guess, I'm not putting too much force on this. After all, this is ABS plastic and it's old. I don't want it to crack or anything like that. Make sure you dirty up the details. usually get all the way from seam to seam just because you know I'm like that here's another detail too this is pointed out by I'm not sure if I should say his name on channel but another well-known uh, youtuber that does Star Wars stuff Make sure you get the inside plates where it's visible from the corners as well as the top. Because you don't want any real imperfections there. As to why, as to if any of you are wondering why I'm choosing a Ruby's costume because A, it's the only one I got right now. I got one currently on order from 850 Armor Works, which is locally where I live. Well, local-ish. It's in the Panhandle area. Plus, when you get around to it... Sorry, I had to get my rag out. When you get around to it, the rubies considering the way it's made scratches and when you got an old rubies like I do it tends to gather the scratches and I'll show you what I mean hopefully I can find one here again use a turning action around the seams It all varies on how much you want to take off and how much you want it to look on how much dirt you want to expose, uh, show, I guess. So it's all at your own discretion. The inside, I'd usually just hurry up and do this. See right there? Those are those scratches I was talking about, how it filled them in. It actually looks legit. I'm not saying the armor is, but at least the paint job is. No one ever said this was uh, super easy. And in some cases, it's not.
case you're wondering where the Star Wars music is coming from, I was actually going to play Battlefront on my computer here, and well, I decided to do just a small test area on one of my armors of this paint, and I said, wow, this is actually turning out good, and well, the bug got me. I'm hooked. Unfortunately, this is only going to be a relatively short video. I say relative because it's not going to be like an hour or anything like that in a full suit of armor. It's just going to be a leg that I'm going to do for y'all. Because it is kind of late. And every parent knows when your child is asleep that's two years old, that's the perfect opportunity for you to get some sleep. So I'm kind of breaking that rule right now. Sleep is a precious commodity around here. Remember the details. See how it looks like it caught dirt now. That's what we want. I also want to point out that if you are going to buy Stormtrooper armor, I highly suggest you get a kit. A lot of people, including me, I have made this mistake, have seen these ruby ones and they go, oh wow, it's only $500 or $600 and I can actually afford it. And then come to find out, kits unassembled cost around $400. And sometimes, depending on who makes them and who sells them, they'll do payments. Sometimes. I'm not going to throw any names out there of who I'm making payments to. But there's a, a group on Facebook that actually helped me out in getting my MG43 which is a DLT 20 I believe it is yeah and I was doing payments of like seventy six dollars it's looking pretty nice maybe a little excessive dirt but I guess I'll deal with it okay same thing with this. This is going to be a little tougher though. There we go. Up in the little crevices. And then turn with what I call the seam here. Done. God, my hands are 
hands are a wreck. I'm gonna have to seriously clean up with like Dawn dish detergent or something before going to bed, or else the wife is gonna kill me. Oh yeah, I should also add, before you wipe this stuff off, try to wait for it to be tacky. It just works a little bit better in my honest opinion. 